afternoon from an extremely hot Spain. Um, we're still on the beach with Jack, Mike and Goff. And today I've got a little sneaky midweek video as we had a load of extra footage where we uh, sat round uh, Goff's van and we all cooked different dinners to share. So Jack cooks a curry and Goff cooks uh, crunchy balls and a courgette fry up and more. So just a sneaky extra midweek video of cooking and sharing food when you live in a van. We are those weirdos, a family of seven. We've been living, working and traveling for two years in our self-converted <laughs> sprinter van. I have a chameleon. to Portugal to find a bit of off-grid land to buy, then we're going to apply for residency and avoid the Schengen restrictions caused by Brexit. We'll be filming every bit of the process so you can come along with us and be part of our journey. avid followers will remember that last year on Black Sands we were parked up with our friend Goff and he cooked us a tagine. We've met up with Goff again and just invite myself into his van and invade his privacy. Hello. Hello mate. How you doing? All right. I'm very good. So what delicacy? Oh, that looks a bit special. What's that? I have no idea. <laughs> you don't know what it is. You just they came in a packet of discs, and magically from an Indian store in Lagos, in Portugal. So you and you heat it. the oil, and is it, is it hot enough yet? No, it's not hot enough. We're going to have to going to have to wait. Pause that a minute. Pause that, and they explode into these balls. And they explode into these, and you go. Oh, that sounds good. Don't tell Rosie about that. And what they they're called? like, they're like table tennis balls, but mm. they're poppadon table tennis balls. Ooh. So it's a surprise. I make a bunch of them and bring them out. And Rosie will love those. So I was saying to Goth earlier, he should do a cooking channel because he always comes out with these little gems as well as being a very good cook. And then the other one is these chili peppers. I'm going to chop them up. This is a Yunnan dish from Yunnan in China. And these guys, I'm going to chop them up and I have a, an organic homegrown courgette, otherwise known as zucchini. Zucchini, yeah. zucchini in certain countries of the world. And so this one is going to chop up a uh, long ways, being organic, it's hopefully covered in dirt. And that fine dust that blew across yesterday would have saw that one out. So I'm cutting this into cubes. Wow, it's so solid. Organic stuff is great, isn't it? Yeah. Look how that that's hard to cut even. So I'm gonna cut that into into small pieces. And then I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna stir fry it later on. But for now, we can come back to that. Right now I'm just gonna cut it into small chunks like this. And this is a super simple dish. A lot of a lot of Chinese dishes. Yunnan is in southwest China in the Himalayas, and I spent a bit of time there. And a lot of their dishes, you know, I find myself having to hold back from putting too many things into a dish. Whereas, you know, a lot of a lot of food just focuses on one or two nice ingredients, and you have maybe six or eight or ten dishes at the table, but each one is really really simple. And this is one of them. I'll That's show you. So what are you going to do with the courgette or the zucchini? I'm going to fry them in a wok with with with, oh, um, with the, chili with the peppers that you've chopped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These guys, I'm going to. These are super dried. I got them in Morocco last year, and you know they've lasted me a long time. I'm simply going to chop these guys up. You can use. You don't have to go to Morocco for this and buy them in, in a souk. You can buy um, chili flakes. 
It looks like something you put in your shopping trolley or something, doesn't it? In, or in a, or a Catholic church. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Wow, look. I've never actually made these before, you see. Ooh, they're great, aren't they? It's, they're fun. Fun food. Rosie's going to want to try that. Yep. Well, let's sample it out on, on the... Uh, on the, the victim, uh, the volunteer. Yeah. Put it in there. Rose, do you want to be the victim? I mean, volunteer. Uh, Come here. Oh. Look at this. Go taste something. Come sure. here. <laughs> it will be hot. If it's spicy, then I'll be an No, It won't be hot. It's a, it's a, it's a. Oh, what is that? Table tennis, a ping pong ball. What is this? It's it is very hot. Deep fried ping so pong ball. You have to ball. try it and tell us what you think it is, because we don't know. Yes, but it's very hot. <laughs> I saw them in the Indian shop and I said, what are these two? They're with me. I'm going to make two ping pong balls. Is that good? I don't know what it is, but it tastes nice. Well, think of a pump pop it on. So if you, if you peer through here, up that way, you can watch Goff cook, see what they, he'll show you what they're like when they're in the bag, which is oh, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that flat dish. Like and then they explode into these ping pong balls of Pokemon Delights. This is visually amazing food, isn't it? It is. I've no idea what's in there. I know that it's vegan. These are great. I like these. We're going to eat loads of these tonight. Don't be shy. Chuck your balls in that pan. Figuratively speaking, of course. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Wow. It's good fun cooking things for the first time. It isn't is, it? Great, they are. I like these. Kids, with, kids like these. They've got a good reaction from Rosie there. Yeah. Oh, what's happening? Oh, too many. Oh, they're getting jammed in the pan. Oh, my God. <laughs> they're escaping. <laughs> they're trying to get out. They're, Okay. Ah. One, two, three. Ah, that one. Oh, they get even bigger if you overleave them. Look at the size oh, of that one. Look at this. That's Gosh. not a ping pong ball, is it? No, it's turning into oh, a like rugby an ball. Egg ball. <laughs> <laughs> I like the look of these. These are fun. So you're going to eat lots of crispy balls. Well, I'm not sure, I guess. Let it's me one try of your one. Favorites. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Let me try one. Hang on. Here's a big one. Mmm! Mmm! Hey, look, give me that. Let's try one. They look quite toasty. They are. Pop it on. Ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Nice. Be nice with some. Uh, Dip into something. Mm. Yeah, mm. you do more or less what you do with poppadoms. King's quality products. Yeah. Premium, no less. No less. I don't know what the non-premium ones do. No, they they go they're very small balls. The small balls. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Let's go and cut. So they are ready to eat. What do you think of those? <laughs> yeah, they're good, aren't they? Jack. Yeah. Do you want one one of Goth's crunchy balls? What do you reckon? Mmm. They're good, aren't they? So what are you cooking for us tonight? Chickpea and potato curry. Mmm, look forward With to that. green peppers and uh, chopped tomatoes, garlic, and onions. Sounds excellent. We've had it before, or a version of, and it was absolutely lovely. This is another really, really simple dish. And it's um, courgettes, I diced them up, and chilies. And uh, I don't have any garlic le cloves left. I used the last of them last night, so I've got some garlic paste here that'll do the trick. So basically, a hot, a hot wok, or a pan if you don't have a wok. Chuck these guys in. Smallish, smallish pieces. Those are pretty chunky pieces. Aren't they? Cool and this is a beautiful organic courgette from a friend of mine, Scarlet. And even cutting it, it was hard to cut. You know, there. It's just wonderful, and they taste so good as well. 
like any properly grown organic food. So, basically, just down here, full of heat. Wops, by the way, were invented not that long ago in China. I think around 100 years ago, 150 years ago, during a famine. And they, they ran out of fuel, so they started making these these really thin cooking devices that cook on very little heat and heat it up super quickly. That's the origin of the wok. And then if you have chili flakes, I was fortunate to have some chilies, dried chilies I still have from my trip to Morocco last year. And these guys go in there and um, I will put a tiny bit of salt. Yep. Hmm? And oh, what did I say? Garlic paste. Let's put in a tiny bit of garlic paste. There you go. Garlic paste. There. You don't actually need the garlic paste, but I'm just putting some in just to uh, get a tiny bit of flavor. That's a really hot one. Another ten seconds. Ten to ten there, Rosie. Uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Is that really strong as well? What's that? The oil burn? That's the uh, chili. We're all gassed. Quick, get out, get out. Ah. Oh. Oh. Let's put them in there, will we? What about that? So that's the starter. Waiting on the main course after the starter. Here comes dinner. Here's your dinner, boys and girls. So thanks for cooking your crispy balls and courgettes. Absolute pleasure. It was great fun. It's, it's always nice to cook something for the first time. Those crispy ball things you just saw a minute ago were absolutely delicious. They were lovely, and kids they? love them. They yeah. love eating them. They love yeah. making them, and they're good fun. And I think that kind of thing gets kids into cooking. Huh? Personally, yeah, Rosie loved that, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thanks for the curry, sir. Absolutely lovely. You're very welcome, Mr. Three Portions. Yeah, that's your best one yet. Oh, really? Yeah, it was excellent. Really nice. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Look how much Missy had. All gone. All gone. Oh, it was delicious. And Dom didn't leave poor Jack any for his lunch tomorrow. <laughs> no. Well, I've got enough. <laughs> it's all gone. Got left. Oh, oh, there's a meal there. There's a meal there, but yeah. you haven't seen Rosie later yet. <laughs> uh, no, I have. Little snacky mouse. Uh, she's not going to get near it. It's going in the fridge.